Well, Elvis Mitchell, you are a legend, and you've been doing this for since the inception. So, tell me, how does it feel today to to be honoring Marissa Tomei, the first woman to be honored in art of film? First of all, it's about time, you know, because you these white guys they have such a hard <laughs> life, being honored everywhere, being in elected office, having all this wealth. Let's just let a woman do it every once in a while. I, I, I think it's a, it's great. She's terrific. She's incredibly talented. She has the best laugh in movies. As soon as you hear her laugh and under any circumstances, it's completely infectious and you're carried along with it. I know her a little bit. Uh, she, I've seen her on stage before. And I'm always honored to be asked to come back to do this. So what is your process when you know that you're going to be uh, doing, uh, you know, like a panel or something like that, and you know who the artist okay. is? What, what, what do you start doing? Because, I mean, you know everything about everyone. <laughs> but what kind of research do you do? What, what kind of things do you want to ask that other people have never asked? Well, given that I know everything about everyone, <laughs> I just sleep in and I don't know. I do, I guess I prepare the way anybody would. I see all the movies again to get ready for this. And it's, it's always interesting to sort of follow a chronology of somebody's career and start to see patterns emerge that they often they're not aware of because they're too busy being in the work. And that's always the fun part of it. Every one of these things I've asked somebody, oh. And what you realize is when they're in the weeds playing through, they don't think about what the end game is. And that's the fun part of it too, to just sort of have that conversation with them and, and, and have these things with any luck sort of crystallize in conversation. So are there any interviews that stand out for you? Everything I've done here, I've had, I mean, just, I just saw Robert Duvall in L.A. a couple of days ago. Yeah. That was so great. That was so, that was so great. That was so much fun doing that. Like, you remember who I am? <laughs> um, and then, God, then, then Lee Daniels, I know of it, and I saw him a couple of, no, a month ago, because he's preparing a new show for Fox, this hip-hop uh, serial drama called Empire. And this came up, and he talked about what a great time he had here. And I think what's really the turn on for all the people I've talked to here is this is a real film loving city and they can feel the response and the affection from the audience. Well it's great that you're getting that feedback. I guess we're doing a, a good job here. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, you're inviting all the right people, you spread the wealth around a little bit. African American last year, a woman this year. Who's next? Just spin the wheel and see. We need a Hispanic. Right? <laughs> Say that. Don't just do, don't just whisper <laughs> this to me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But absolutely. Yeah. No. That, that Robert Rodriguez next year, right? Oh, yeah. Great idea. <laughs> Inspired by you. Yes. Thank you. Um, so, tell me a little bit about your work at the LA Film Festival. I'm just going on this year as well. I program the uh, the LA County Museum Film Program for mm -hmm. Film Independent. We do all kinds of great stuff. Just last night, we, there's this thing we started there called Live Read that Jason Reitman does. He takes a classic oh, film script wow. and he gets a bunch of actors for it. Last night's uh, Live Read was Diner with the cast of the show The League. So it was really a great night. Um, and so we'll be doing more of that kind of stuff for the festival and making it about LA just because LA is a great film city and it needs a, a festival that's built around the idea of making movies about LA and about the experience of being in LA. Okay, well I have to ask, have you seen anything recently that um, has, hasn't been out yet and that you need to talk, tell us about? Yes, Selma. I saw Selma last week in San Francisco where I got to meet Oprah Winfrey. What? <laughs> I got to meet Oprah Winfrey, that's right. Wow. Um, and it's the story of uh, Dr. Martin Luther King and the, the march from Selma to Montgomery which John Lewis's book calls basically the end of the nonviolent aspect of the civil rights movement. Uh -huh. And it's a remarkable film. David Oyelowo plays Dr. King. Uh, Wendell Pierce is in the film. Uh, it's a great cast, and it's a remarkable film. And um, possibly maybe the first film by an African-American woman director to get an Oscar nomination for Best Director. I mean, that's how important it is. This is the year of the woman. <laughs> It should be every year. Should yes, be the year. Yes, I know. Moment. We're getting there. We're getting there. Think it'll be our year. <laughs> I'm going to follow your lead on this. Well, thank you so much.